Hello guys, today we are in Dubai Creek Harbor presenting the new project by Imar Properties Ion in the first district connecting directly to the metro station. Just five minutes walking distance to the metro and just three minutes walking distance to the private beach. We have as well a central park and a lineal park. A lot of amenities and a lot of green areas in this community. We have the canal view, the park view and the community view. If you want to know more about this project, stay with me. provides a direct link between Dubai International Airport and key urban areas along the line at a frequency of 10 to 25 minutes, which achieves the targets of the Dubai Urban Plan 2040 in uniting the five principal urban regions of Dubai. Stretching over 30 kilometers, the blue line features 14 stations, including three interchange stations and one iconic station. The line splits into two directions. The first extends from the Creek Station at Al Jadaf and passes through Dubai Creek Harbor up to Academic City. The journey covers 21 kilometers and encompasses 10 stations. The second extends from Center Point Station at Al Rashidiyah and to the interchange station of the International City, extending 9 kilometers across four stations at Merdif and Al Wanka. Dubai Metro's Blue Line will support economic activities and serve residential, academic and tourist areas as well as development projects. It will also foster well-being, enhance the integration of various transit means, and reduce congestion. So what does it mean, guys? You know, we underestimate the, the importance of having a metro connectivity. If you look at all the real estate developments along the metro line, the rentability is at least 20% more than something which is away by around 4 to 5 kilometers. Now, if Dubai Creek Harbor today is trading at around 2,200 dirham per square foot, now imagine how much it would go after four to five years once the metro is ready and once the master plan matures more. Now, this is what we have in store today. That, that is what you need to explain your customers today. The potential of capital appreciation in Dubai Creek Harbor is at least 40 to 50 percent in the next five years' time. Now, when we started Dubai Creek Harbor, it was just a barren land. Now, people didn't know about the location. But in the last seven years, whatever you see around you, this was all built in the last seven years. Now you need to understand that only EMAR in Dubai has this kind of scale and can actually emulate this kind of development in seven years time. Now imagine what this development is going to become in the next five years with the metro coming in, with more connectivity, with beautiful additions on the mainland. Probably Dubai Creek Harbor, mark my words, is going to become the best master plan in Dubai to live. This big building is Creek Tower. And the project I own is this one, these two small buildings. If you can check a little bit more, the golden one is the metro station. So it's walking distance to the metro station. So this one are the two buildings. This is the canal. We have a central park in the middle and the metro station walking distance. It's the first building in this cluster, so the capital appreciation is very nice. We will have the chance to have the park view, water view, or in the other side, you will have the creek tower view. So all the, all the units will have a nice, nice uh, view for every corner. Apart of that, we will have the connectivity directly to the metro line. And this one will be one of the big advantage of this cluster. The only one have direct access to the metro station. Coming to the amenities, let's get into the depth of the urban beach. It's 120 meters wide. You also have an interactive fountain over here. So you have a beautiful fountain, waterfront plaza. Having people can just go and sit there. I don't know how many of you have visited the, the main park in the uh, on the island. It also has beautiful fountain elements. Now these are all elements which actually attract kids which attracts a lot of uh, people going there in the evening for a walk. This is a this is beautiful setting. You have seated sculptures over here and all of this is going to be a beautiful promenade. More images of the beach. 
We spoke about the Central Park, which is around 75,000 square foot. It is in the center of all the seven towers, so all the residents can enjoy a beautiful park uh, element in the evenings or in the mornings when they go for a jog. This is a linear park, in my opinion. This is something which we have not explored before. We've, what it also means is the distance in between the towers is quite huge. So it is not a typical uh, development where the buildings are stacked right next to each other. There's a lot of distance in between each tower where we had made a big linear park. And I think once it comes to life, you will see how beautiful it will be done. Probably in Ion, you have the best. You have all the features, just to summarize of what we spoke about. So you have an urban beach, you have a waterfront promenade, you have several play areas, you have cycling tracks, you will talk about what sports courts we have and it's very well connected with the metro. RTA is also going to have a ferry station. So that's again another advantage of this particular location. This is the podium amenities of Aeon. If you look at this, one of the largest podiums we have in Dubai Creek Harbour. You have an adult pool, you have a kids pool and you have different areas for fitness your barbecue areas. So we've given different amenities. So if you look at uh, Creek Beach, Creek Beach lies on one podium. So you have multiple towers on one podium, but here we've kind of distinguished podiums for different towers. So every tower is gonna have its own features, its, its own pool, they're, they're gonna have this their own gyms, which is again a big aspect. So the number of people using uh, the common amenities will be much less. Also, we're looking at only 260 residents. 260 residents using this kind of amenities spread over such big space is actually a big luxury. This is another render uh, of these residents enjoying the urban beach, looking at the beautiful bridge is already done. A render of the park. This is a 75,000 square foot park right in front of Aeon. This is a linear park, how the linear parks are, are going to be made. There's a lot of sustainability element which we have introduced, which we'll talk about, which will ensure that even in summers, you can actually have a great walk. Uh, because of the design of the entire uh, development, uh, the, the way the wind is being blown in between the towers, it will ensure that there is minimal heat even in summers. You have great landscape lawns. You have over 290 square meters of adult pool and you have 150 square meters of kids pool. These are big areas. We're talking about only 260 residents. So for 260 residents, what amenities you have is, is quite high. Now coming to the views, Aeon, as, as it is located, you're going to have beautiful park views. You're going to have the creek beach view from this side. This is Tower 1, which is a taller tower. This is Tower 2. The Tower 2 also boasts of having the water view in between the towers. So there are 360 degree views around for this tower. On sustainability, we have done a lot of uh, research and all of this development is super sustainable. Uh, let it be water conservation, sun protection. When you walk along the linear parks, you will see a lot of elements on sustainability, waste management, a lot of energy efficiency, which has been focused on for this project. Now, where do we stand today? As we speak, we are at 2200 dirham per square foot in Creek Harbor. Four years back, we launched Creek Harbor at probably 15, 1600 dirham per square foot. So customers have already seen a 45% appreciation in the last four to five years. Now, where do we go from here? Now, for every master development to keep increasing, you need new elements to be introduced. You need new connectivities like the metro edition, like more elements on the mainland, like more beaches probably. And hence, all of this is going to come your way for Aeon. I don't think we will be looking at anything less than 3,000 dirham per square foot in Dubai Creek Harbour in the next three to four years time. And hence this makes, this possibly makes it the best investment for your customers. Coming to the commercials, our one bedrooms, our seven, six two square foot onwards will start at 1.71 million. The two bedrooms are 12, 33 square foot onwards. The larger ones are 13, 34 square foot. They will start at 2.69 million. The three bedrooms are 1665 square foot onwards. Majority of them are 1770 square foot. This will start at 3.62 million. The payment plan will be 1910 no post. The completion certificate will be given on April 2028. Majority of our projects are running before time because such is the demand. We sell off all the projects on day one. 
we want to construct and give all our products before time so we are very optimistic of delivering this before time and before april 2028 which is a very good timeline for your customers also because they get around five years time to complete the payment of 90 percent